Hey Hot Tots, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm not really in winter attire. <laughs> I decided I'm going to do like my vacation lookbook outfit for you guys. So you guys can see what I think I'm going to pack, what outfits I'm gonna bring because I'm only bringing a carry-on. I know, she's crazy. So without further ado, let's get into the video and see what outfits I can bring on vacation. So first I'm just going to show you my bathing suit cover-ups that I'm bringing. I'll show you my bathing suits as well, but I'll probably just try on one or just have pictures of them up because I'm bringing a lot. <laughs> so this is a bathing suit cover-up. My sister got it for me for Christmas actually. I really, really love it. I'm going to ask her where she got it so I can link it down below if they still have it. I like it. I don't usually do colors, but I'm really glad she actually got me this because it makes me wear a color. The second bathing suit cover up I'm bringing is just this kind of open one that I like to wear. Um, I've had this for years. I got this from forever 21 years ago, but I always just like to bring it. I think it's so cute when you just bring something that kind of flows open that you feel comfortable with. If you want to run to the bathroom, grab another drink, you can wrap it around yourself or keep it open. You can wear it with shorts or just your bathing suit and it goes long enough and covers enough where you don't feel like insecure. There's my gut. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to bring this one as well. So next I'm bringing just this big, long, t like long sleeve t-shirt. Ollie's right here. Um, I like bringing these because they're very crisp white shirts, which I really, really like. And then you can also pair this with a pair of jean shorts, roll it up. Um, you know what I mean? So you can kind of make this pretty versatile and it's white. So if you want to wear like your gold jewelry, your cute pop of a lip color out to the pool, you can. Um, but I really, really love just like a nice white uh, bathing suit cover up. You can keep it open or close it like the other one. And I'm going to use this because it's very versatile in my other outfits that I'm bringing as well. And when I, you're only carrying, bringing a carry on, you need to make certain items versatile so that you can wear them for multiple reasons. So I can wear this like this or with jean shorts like this. I can also wear this over different dresses to kind of dress it down, t-shirts to kind of dress them up, onesies, you know, stuff like that, body suits. I always call them onesies. But yeah, so this is a cute little cover up and I love it. This is another one of those dresses slash cover ups. Um, I got this from H&M a couple years ago. I love it. It's a very big type of flowy dress, but yet I could wear it as a cover up out or really dress it up with a bunch of jewelry and wear my hair all really nice and pretty with some makeup. And it would also be a cute dress to wear at night for dinner. So I really, really like this dress as both a cover up and then maybe a dinner outfit since I'm only packing a carry on. Okay, sorry, the lighting is getting crazy. So here's a dress that I'm going to bring. I really, really like it because it kind of like touches my hips and shows my figure, but isn't like so tight that I feel like uncomfortable, if you know what I mean. So I love this dress. I bought this a couple years ago as well. Um, I'll link anything I can down below. And if I can't find it, I'll try to link something similar. It has these really pretty straps up here. And then the back looks like this. Sorry, you get to see everything back here. But yeah, I really, really like it. It's super nice and super cute and I love it with teal jewelry. Let me show you. So these are my go-to turquoise jewelry necklaces. I bought them from like Wet Seal years and years ago, but I love them as like a go-to. I love adding turquoise to any of my like summery beachy outfits because I just feel like it really makes it feel more beachy, you know? And I can wear these with multiple things. I can dress them down with my white shirt and my little jean shorts, or I can dress them up with a couple dresses. But yeah, this is one of the dresses I'm wearing. And then I'll show you this necklace with my next dress. Ta-da! So I also love this with this white dress. I think it's really cute, really pretty. And I really just like that I can wear this turquoise jewelry with multiple dresses. This dress is very similar to the one I was just wearing, but it's white, uh, has a little weird thing in the back, but I like it a lot. And I think I'm gonna wear this on New Year's because I will be in Cancun on New Year's. But again, another thing that I use this multiple times for different types of outfits and I like it a lot. I also know that if I put throw on something like this, like my bathing suit cover up, roll up the sleeves with it, I can kind of dress this little dress down and wear just my slip on nude 
shoes and it'd be super cute as well. So again, just having options, but bringing basics so that you can keep mixing and matching is what I do. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The final dress that I'm bringing on vacation is just this yellow dress. I love it so much. I actually wore it to a wedding, but I think the yellow is super pretty and it's really flowy and summery. So I feel like I could wear this there too. I just brought this as an extra dress to bring just in case, but I really love it with just my plain gold jewelry. I think it's really, really pretty. But yeah, this is my last and final dress. Sorry the lighting is getting all messed up and my place is a mess, but I'm not perfect y'all. I'm an imperfect human. and I just like to show you that at all times. So there are a couple uh, body suits that I'm bringing. I'm bringing these shorts. These are from White Fox Boutique. And then I'm bringing this like nude bodysuit from American Eagle. I like it a lot, it looks really pretty with like some gold jewelry, super simple. But I feel like I can wear these shorts in a lot of different ways and these bodysuits. So I could wear it like this, like this, or like this with some jean shorts. So I feel like there's just a lot of ways that you can wear bodysuits to really fit your needs in that moment. And I have, I'm bringing this one, a black one, and a white one so that I can kind of mix and match. I can wear them all with the same type of thing. I could wear black under this or the white under this. I also could wear this over it or this over it. So I definitely am bringing a couple more like long cover-ups because I think this would look pretty over dresses that I'm bringing over high-waisted shorts with a bodysuit. And it just kind of dresses up the outfit if you want it more dressed up or it dresses down the dresses if you want them less dressy. So I definitely think that these bodysuits that I'm bringing will be good staples to bring with different bottoms that I can wear. I'm also of course gonna wear, have some lounge down outfits for like lunches and if some nights we're not like really eating out or anything, I wanna bring this tequila por favor shirt obviously because tequila, Mexico. So I'm bringing this tequila por favor short shirt. I think it's super cute. I'm also gonna bring just a pair of black jean shorts as well. Um, so yeah. I'm bringing two tops that are more of like dressed down, but we're not just sitting in the hotel room type of shirts. I have this one, it's pretty see-through-ish. You can wear your bathing suit underneath it or like a cute bralette. I'm gonna bring this with me just so that I have something to like walk around in or if we're, you know, kind of exploring or if we go on a boat one day or anything like that, I can wear this and it's still a good little outfit to wear, but it's not super just like a t-shirt and, you know, Sophie shorts. Again, with this, I can wear my little cotton shirt as a little overlay. And again, using this over and over and over again, that's how I like to pack. Another shirt I'm bringing is this little shirt. I have a white one as well, but I feel like I'll just bring this one. I would wear it, maybe not even with these jean shorts. I have ones that are not as open. I'm making three pairs of jean shorts. These ones, the better version of these ones that are actually closed up and a black pair. But I think this shirt and top is really cute to like go out in if I'm not wanting to wear a dress per se. So yeah, I'm going to wear this one night probably when I'm not in the mood to not have pants on. You ever like that? Like I'm a girl, I don't really like to wear dresses, but obviously for vacation I try. I like to have pants on, you know? <laughs> so this will be a shirt if I'm like, uh, yeah, pants are a must. And then finally this black top, it's super see-through-y. You can kind of see my bathing suit through it, but I think it's really cute for like a going out top. You know what I mean? Like the nighttime kind of, I always kind of just like tuck it in the front of my jeans so you can tell I'm wearing pants. Yeah, I just have it flow. This could also be used as a bathing suit cover up as well. It's like that netty type of material. So again, I can use this multiple different ways. Love it. So I'm only bringing three random tops, like two t-shirt tops, um, one pair of sleeping pajamas, and then two workout outfits, seven bathing suits, I think, which are up next and then three pairs of shorts, four dresses, and then some of those dresses with my cover-ups. So I have two cover-ups. So I definitely packed down 
um, just a couple pieces of jewelry in my makeup, but I try to find things that all go together so that I don't have to pack as much. And honestly, I've come to this point in my life where I just know what I'll wear and what I won't wear. And it's amazing. It helps you not have to pay for extra luggage. Hey, I don't really like showing my bunny, but my first bathing suit, I'm just bringing this. This is from American Eagle. I love it. It's high waisted. That's how I like it. I like it a little higher up on the sides. It kind of cuts my stomach where it's the smallest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to bring this one. This one, again, same bottoms, just bringing a little different top with it. Super cute, super flirty. Now you guys, as you know, I'll be full fledged on my period during this time. So I was thinking the first two days I'm there, I'm gonna be wearing my little tankinis because they make me feel slimmer, they make me feel more covered and I'll feel bloated and gross. So this is definitely one I will be wearing in the beginning of the week a lot, okay? And that's just what it's like to be a girl. It's so fun. This one, also period outfit number two, so that I can wear this like the first couple days. If I'm feeling like not good in my own skin, and guys, I'm sorry, I think the boob pads are like not in the right spot. But I just think this makes me feel secure. It makes me feel a lot thinner. It makes me feel more comfortable. So I'd be wearing this like the first or second day I'm there for sure. And the final one is, this is the final one. I love this one. This one's from American Eagle as well. I like it a lot. I love the bottoms. The top is just plain white, which I like. So I'll probably wear this towards the end of the week when I feel really tan with the white and it's gonna look really fetch. And again, a lot of these bathing suits I can wear with my high-waisted shorts and then wear one of my little like, what is the word? cover-ups with it and just feel like it's a cute little outfit almost like you put some jewelry with it and you're like oh I'm dressed up <laughs> that's it for today's video you guys I hope you enjoyed it I know it was different than anything I've done before but I thought it'd be fun so thank you so so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't because it really helps support my channel I post every Monday and Thursday and sometimes on a random mother day I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one bye